guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a felt cat to put on a face mask. So what you need first is felt. So I've got black felt, pink felt, and white felt. And then you'll need the string to match. I'm using heavy duty, it'll hold up better in the wash. So what you want to do first is cut a white square or whatever color you want your cat to be. Uh, this is two and a half by three and a half. And what you want to do is fold it in half and then cut a slight curve to make the ears. And then you're going to flip it around and make a point for their ears and then straighten it out to do the head. So then you have your little cat. So from here we are going to make a nose. So for that we need the pink. And we are just going to cut a little tri or a little square out and then a triangle. So you have your little triangle for the nose. And then we'll take the pink thread, sew that on. I always do three knots with the heavy duty thread just because I feel like it holds up better. Alright, so we have the thread, and I just placed the little nose in the center, so I'm just going to sew that on there. And for that, I just... Hmm. There's not a very good way to show you, but um, there's the nose here, and I'm just doing a simple stitch around it. Alright, so then we have the nose sewn on. I'll knot that off on the back here. Alright, so we have the nose on. Now I'm going to get some black thread to do his little cheeks. Alright, get that threaded. Alright, so for his cheeks, I just start right under the nose. Go 
pop up. And then I do a little loop here. And then you want to come up right in between where your loop is. And that will help keep the curve to his nose. So then you just want to continue with a curve all the way down. And then you want to curve out so that you're making his little cheek. Alright, so then you've got the one side that's curved, and then you do the same to the other side. And if they don't match, that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Alright, so then you've got the little cat cheeks, and then you're going to give them whiskers. So I start right by the, kind of by the bottom, the base of his nose, and I come up, and then you go over kind of at an angle, and then you just pull that through, and then... I come up further on the side, and then you just want that one to be kind of right by that. And then you do third one. And that will also be at an angle going down. So then you've got the one side with the whiskers. And then you do the other.
All right, so then you've got the whiskers. So I'm going to tie this off. Like that. All right. So now we are going to give him eyes. So for that, I'm going to get my black felt. I'm going to cut a rectangle. And then I'm just going to fold that rectangle in half like this. Cut that in half and then just cut around it to make a circle. All right, so then you have the eyes. So then you place those where you want them, like that. And then you sew them on like we did the nose. Which is just up through the bottom, over the edge, and down. And you just do that all around the eye. Switch over to the other. All right, so that is sewn on. So we'll knot this off. Cut that. All right, so then we have the cat's face and then we're gonna give him little eyeballs. So for that, I'm going to use the white string.
that thread. And then for this, you're going to do a French knot. So I've been going about right here for the eye. So you pull that up, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take this string and wrap it around the needle five times. All right, so then that is on the needle. And you're going to go right back down by where you came up at. And you're just going to pull that through. And then you have a little eyeball. And then you do it to the other side. Come up. Go around the needle five times. So it's like that on the needle. Go right back down. Pull it a little tight so that it kind of clumps up. Because the clump is what makes the eyeball. Pull that through. And then he's got eyeballs. Knot that off. Like that. And then you just take your mask, put them right on the edge, and then you just sew him on with a simple stitch. And then you have a cat mask.